guys, today is a very special day on the island. On this day, in 2018, I opened up the Legos Island theme park. And of course, back then, we did a mega celebration combining the grand opening party and a fair at the same time. A year later in 2019, we did the exact same thing, although this time it was the anniversary mixed with the fair. The same thing was also done in 2020 for two years. And as you could clearly have guessed, that obviously means I have done it once again for three years. However, it's actually a bit different. Now that a few more rooms have been added to the island, there are actually Actually, everything is brand new. So yeah, without further ado, let's finally jump into it. So of course I've accessed the whole world today to obviously set up the event. I'm surprised they actually got it done this early in the day. I think last year I got it done around like the evening. And then the night and um sorry, and then the year before, I think I got it done at like pretty much almost midnight, maybe. I don't know. But I definitely also remember in 2018 it was done in the afternoon. This proves that this is like a lot earlier than last year. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, and I also did this last year, let's start off by just going to the theme park itself. And yes, you can probably see the mega amount of changes, we'll get to that later, I promise. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, let, let's go to the theme park first as the first main attraction, like last year. So right here, this says theme park third anniversary. This way, of course, we have cakes and, you know, the copper ingot. And yes, that is this year's ticket icon. So let's head on to the theme park. Here we are. So right here, this sign has obviously been changed. Of course, it still says the usual welcome to the Legos Island theme park. Of course, Below that, it obviously says the third anniversary, because that is this year in 2021. Three years. Let's go. Ta-da. Here we are. Three years of the theme park, everybody. Oh, boy. This is one heck of an event. So first things first, you're probably all curious, where is the hat? It's right up here this year. The three years of the theme park hat. Let's put it on. There we go, and that is the hat this year. It may look similar to another hat that I made back then, but who really cares? We also have the Fair 2021 banner. Pick that up and put it on as well. Looks pretty cool. Oh, and also, I did shorten the amount of prizes for this. It, it does still have all of last year's, although I have taken out two of them. That being the theme park anniversary hat from last year and the fall hat. Speaking of which, I think this is actually the first theme park anniversary, not to include anything fall related. Now hold on, let me explain why. That is because this event is not going to be going on when it turns fall. No, the rainbow party will be occurring at the time. Literally the day before fall begins is when it begins. So I'm going to do the fall event there instead of here. Makes a little more sense. Alright, now of course let's get to the main attraction, the yearbook itself. Which I literally, like, that was the last thing I made before filming. The only difference on this title it, uh, is that it has a three instead of a two. Yeah, that's the like one difference. But obviously the book inside is entirely different. Let's read it, shall we? Wait, hold on. I kind of want to read it part of the three. My mistake. All right, there we go. Got it. All right, three years ago on September fifteenth, 
2018, the Legos Island theme park was officially opened. While no new parks were created in 2021, let's take a look back at the third year of the theme park. Yeah, as you guys remember, there were no parks created this year, and that's because we have literally no more room around here. Yeah, literally, no more room. We have literally filled up every inch of this part of the island. So, we can't do another park here. The events! And that's literally the only thing that's in here, since there were no new parks. So, we have October 8th through the 15th, 2020. Completely dark by the island eclipse. October 15th through November 5th, 2020. Decorated for Halloween 2020. November 19th through December 3rd, 2020. Decorated for the Medieval Party 2020. December 17th through January 1st, 2020. Ah! For, um, forgot to put 2020. Uh, right here. But, who cares? <laughs> but actually, the reason I still have it there is actually because this was technically when it occurred. So, decorated as a, Chris as a gingerbread town for Christmas 2020. January 28th through February 4th, 2021. Prehistoric Party 2021. Oh, it, only says 2020. Uh, it, it only says a 21 right there. But you guys get the idea. Alright, January 30th, 2021. Attacked by another court. And this was back during Operation Nether, if you guys remember. February 12th through 19th, 2021. Decorated for Valentine's Day 2021. March 14th through uh, 21st, 2021. Sorry if I keep getting this messed up. Um, decorated for Pi Day 2021. Yeah, it wasn't decorated for St. Patrick's Day this year. It was actually Pi Day instead. March 25th through April 1st, 2021. Decorated as a custom Christmas town for Lego Island's 4th anniversary. Yeah, I remember that. And it was awesome. Uh, April 1st for the 8th, 2021. Dimension portals all over for April Fool's 2021. Yeah, um, there was not actually an actual uh, decoration for this year, April Fool's. Will be next year, though, I promise. Uh, April 16th through 23rd, 2021. Covered in darkness during Operation Wilderness 2021. April 23rd through May 1st, 2021. Rained and flooded from the Great Storm of 2021. May 1st through the 8th, 2021. Decorated for the Underwater Expedition 2021. May 8th through the 15th, 2021. Decorated for the Medieval Party 2021. May 15th through the 22nd of 2021. Designed as future. I was meant to put designed as the future, but it wouldn't fit. So, yeah, rip. And lastly, but not least, July 23rd through September 1st, 2021. Designed as Japan for Lakos Island Summer 2021 World Tour. And finally, but not least, here on September 15th, 2021, is the three year anniversary. What a great third year. Here's the four years. Yes, indeed. Here's the four years next year in 2022. Anyway, we are done with that now. And now, let's just go explore the rest of the theme park. And yes, as you can see, the beacons are back. And why did I do this? Just so it actually looks different from last year. Because if I copied and pasted the same room designs with only just different colors, that would be boring! And I did that for like two years straight. And I don't want to do that again. So I added the beacons in as a nice decoration. Now, however, most of these kind of are. As you can see, Roller Coaster Park is obviously decorated, as usual. It always will be. Alright, and the game park is decorated as well. Take a look. It looks so cool. Although, actually, hold on a second. I might actually want to consider changing this to red and blue. And if you're 
wondering why I chose red and blue this year for the colors. I don't know. I was random. Nice. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna forget about it. Anyway, point is... Oh yeah, wool colors did not even need to be changed at all since it was already technically those colors. Oh, actually, I may as well do him too. Makes more sense that way. Anyway, that's kind of it for the game part. few years there's nothing down here uh, as I always forget but honestly there's really no point if you probably guys notice of course the water park is not decorated because this has nothing to do with the water park oh I may as well also take this out oh yeah I'll, I'll show you what I mean by some new games in a few minutes after we're done with touring the event anyway uh next up medieval park we have the Fair 2021 Medieval Banner. Let's pick it up. Sweet, right? All right, and as usual, as always in tradition with the Medieval Park, all banners are obviously changed as always because that is never gonna get old. I don't think at least. Comment down below if you think it's starting to get old or not. I don't think it is. We have this. Oh, we're actually going to have to start making another chest soon right here. We might have to make like three of them actually. So we can have extra space. Of course, let's head up here. There we go. Here's how it all looks this year. It looks pretty sweet, right? Right. I forgot to tell you guys why I chose red and blue. The reason I chose red and blue is just because... I don't know. Again, I love choosing random colors every year. Just like the anniversary colors. So, I just chose red and blue this year for no reason. One of the main reasons, because number one, blue is my favorite color. And secondly, the reason I chose red, just, why not? Basically, 
basically I started working on this literally like late at night on the 14th. Uh, because I knew how big this event was going to be. Uh, I think this took around, including today, I want to say like maybe nine or like I want to say like seven or eight hours total. We are now done in the theme park, so let's go ahead and explore the rest of the island. Because, yeah, you realize we have the whole rest of the island too, if you hadn't already realized. Well, hold on, before we go in any further, we have three years of the theme park slash fair 2021, September 15th, and we'll be ending on the 21st, so only six days long this year. As you can see, we have all the cakes like last year, and of course, this is decorated too. Would have made sense by now, because it's been a thing every year. Going in here, let me just kill this guy. Um, right here, we of course have the amazing armor, custom made by, of course, me. That's obviously free, and I'm pretty sure you can guess what that armor is. And tradition. In order to obviously receive these items, we must go in survival mode for a second. So no creepers show up. Though. Otherwise, yeah, this place would be a problem. Yeah. Alright. So Alright, so I did collect the items. Alright, what did we get? Okay, we got the uh give me a second, I'm gonna put away the electric. I don't know if we actually collected all of them. No, we didn't! Oh, god dang, we're only missing the half. But you know what? Who really cares right now, considering, um... Yeah, who really cares right now, considering... The fact that, uh... We're wearing the theme mark anniversary hat. So, give me a second. Let me just put all these items back, respectively. Sweet, right? Looks pretty nice. 
nice. I really do like this. Of course, let's obviously put all of this back in their, uh, you know, respective spots. So, yeah. There we go. Alright, and of course, let me just take copies of these.
let's go back down. Again, I will come back for that game later. Yeah, we're gonna be coming back up here later for that fair game. That one up there with all the blocks. But there's actually a reason that it's there. I promise. There's a reason to all And stop! Let's go here. Actually, down here first. And here's how it looks. Yep, that's how it looks this year. And up here, as you can see, looks like this is here. And right here, we have a free 100 tickets. But it says you can only get this once. Well, let's do it right now. There we go. And that means our ticket total has obviously increased by 100. So let me add that now. Of course, now that I have done that, I can back up here to get another 100 because you can only do it once. See? There we go. So it gets 100 even though we've not even played a single game. And don't worry. The only reason I made it to only have it once is so none of us go crazy with it and not play any games out with it at all. Because if you could claim this permanently there are you like nobody would play the games around the island. So yeah. I actually got smart. You can only use this once. So then after that, you gotta actually decide when you actually want to collect this. And then you have to do it for the rest of the game. Not just around the island, but of course get the theme park itself as well. Anyway, with that being said, now let's head down to the lodge. Yep, the minecart's back down here already. For obvious reasons. Alright, going along this way, as always, we have this. always. Oh, right. We have another free item right here. The blue shulker box. Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on this? And yes, the lodge is decorated. Well, on the outside it is, not the inside. Yep, here's the lodge. Here's all the beacons from the future time period earlier this year. At least, obviously, if are actually different this year for once anyway now that i've gotten that over with let's head up to the blacksmith shop as you can see of course there are beacons all around here except for those few that are missing and the reason they are is because i can't get them to work for some reason
Come on. There we go. Oh, I almost thought there was a minecart there. Well, actually, I should place both of them there. Anyway, ta-da! Here is the village. It looks pretty decked out with the beacons, can't you say? You can say it is pretty decorated with the beacons. And that's kind of what one of my main goals were. with the beacons. It really changes up how the village looked from, from previous theme park anniversary events. Now that these are here, who knows what else could be here for the rest of the event. Of course, we have this. We have all of this as usual, except for the beacons being here for the first time, at least in this event. I go so crazy for these events. Oh wait, because it's awesome. I also really like going nuts for these events. So, of course I had to add the beacon in. I mean, I just had to. It just had to happen. So, what do you guys think of the uh, village for the theme park third anniversary? probably noticed something around here. In past years, there was a free item stand right here where I'm standing. However, this year, it has been replaced by a dating site. And I'll get to why that's there later. Speaking of that, actually, we can actually now jump into the fair games that are across the island. This year, there are three of them, which are also brand new. One of them you already can see right now. And trust me, they deliver some pretty cool items that are obviously related to the pair. So, where do we go first? Remember how I said we have to go back to the mountain? Yep, we are going right back to the mountain again. I told you we were going to be going back there later. Told you we were gonna be going back, and that's also one of that gigantic tower is there. Generally, yes. yeah, I don't know what that is now. Oh yeah, this path didn't exist either, but that's only for this event, obviously. So you probably noticed there is a the um, <coughs> classic trampoline as we all have been familiar with in the Big Brother series. Um, and then we have this random game where we just, well, I'll just show you now. So right here, we have this huge water elevator. Of course, let's go up the elevator. Oh yeah, it is so high that even the clouds are going through it. Yeah, it's that high up. As you can see, we have to jump onto that trampoline and bounce on all of those slime blocks to collect tickets. So, are we ready? Three, two, one! Let's go! Hope I get this right? Yeah! Oh, come on! I always get that one. I always... Okay, you know what? For the sake of this event, I'm probably just gonna remove that. Let's try again, even though I'm supposed to go inside the huge tower. Let me just do it again from here, let's see. Oh, come on, I keep falling. Alright, let's do it for real. Let's hope we do not hit that one uh, part of the pet cemetery. There we go, now it works! Yes! Except for that last one. But. So what you're meant to do is, you see these? We have 10 tickets, 20 tickets, 30 tickets, 40 
tickets and finally 50 tickets. What you're meant to do is collect all 50 tickets as you bounce off of the slime blocks. Yeah, this is probably going to have to be removed temporarily from the event. But, in its favor, I'll do this.
could be the possible item under here? Oh! Don't go a little too far. A little too far down. Alright, we have another 100 tickets. And we have the fair banner from two years ago. Nice, right? Let's pick that up. And that's it, because I only get two of them. Now, of course, our ticket tool is now 350, because now we keep getting 100. So let me just get rid of those. And there we go. Those are two banners from the last few years. So see, told you those were some cool items. And lastly, but not least, guys, there is only one game left. So let me go to the location that this is. All right, so here we are at the dog park, but it's actually not at the dog park. It's actually back here in the New York rooms. Yep, here it is. The last game, right here. Pretty cool, right? Of course, this clearly says cornhole game, and it says win 21 tickets because if you guys know, if you ever have played cornhole, the amount of points to Is 21 points. So I made a reference by saying win 21 tickets. It's a clear reference to how many points you need to actually win the game. Now, of course, since I've been playing a lot of corn oil recently, this is easy. But why is it back here instead of somewhere else? This is obviously a clear reference to me. Even though it's actually meant to be beanbags. But they don't 
don't exist in this game. So I did try this instead, but earlier it was snowballs. So there we go. That is a solid reference to that. And I don't know if we want anything just because we weren't really doing anything, but hey, it works. And this is the only place decorated in this part of the location here. Yep, this is the only place decorated. So that's super cool, right? Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts? And that is actually the end of the event. There's nothing else. That's all I did. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. And, well, yeah, this is what happened. Before I go, let me just see, did I close that door? Good. Just making sure. Alright, but yeah guys, that is it for this event. There's nothing else I made. So, yeah, this...